Hello everyone, here we are today with one of my favourite games of all time, Crazy Taxi. Now if you uh, aren't familiar, uh, Crazy Taxi was a massive hit on the Dreamcast and uh, I believe on the original PlayStation it was converted to as well. Um, the idea is you're a taxi driver, you can pick one of four different taxi drivers, slightly different handling, um, and you have a certain time limit to collect as many people and deliver them to wherever they need to be and collect their cash. Now. Because you are a crazy taxi driver, the idea is to drive as fast as you can. The quicker you get between the various points, the more cash you're going to get. And the more crazy stunts you kind of do as you're going along, the more bonus money uh, your passenger is going to give you. Now, the whole idea of the game is just glorious. It's purely a race against time, really, and your own skill of being able to drive as fast as possible and avoid things. Now. It's fairly limited in the sense that there's not a huge amount of variety here in the gameplay. What, what really happens with the game is you're, you're kind of playing against yourself more than anything else. You're trying to get the high scores each time. And there's a time limit, so you can race for either three, five, or I think ten minutes. And there's an arcade mode or the time attack mode as well. Now, what they've really done with this game from an Android perspective is to do a direct conversion from the Dreamcast. Now, what that basically means is you're getting the awesome graphics slightly tweaked and updated so that they look really good on Android. An incredibly fast frame rate. I mean, really, really does bomb along uh, on the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One for that matter. Um, the original soundtrack has been included, which if you remember the original game was probably one of the highlights and certainly was a reason to kind of keep playing this game because the soundtrack is just fantastic. Um, it, it comes from a time when, you know, uh, Gameplay and soundtracks, um, they were kind of in their, their earliest days of trying to get some of these really big artists to actually sign on. So, you know, the, the soundtrack in Crazy Taxi is by The Offspring, um, uh, punk American rockers. But the, it really adds something to the gameplay and to the speed of the game when you've got this really awesome soundtrack blaring away in the background. Um, Part of the crazy taxi thing is that it's kind of free roaming, so you can take any path you want to try and deliver your fare. As the game kind of progresses, there are shortcuts and so on that you can kind of use, including a, a train track, which really does add to the kind of madness of it all, um, especially when you have to start trying to dodge the train at the same time as delivering your fare. But the overall gameplay, the graphics, the whole package that Sega have put together here is phenomenal. Um, and I think probably one of the most consistent companies out there for delivering conversions, but also, you know, delivering really decent mobile games. At the moment, it's Sega. They've really got their act together, as it were. And they're showing, you know, their, their back catalogue is just as awesome as it always was. And now we can experience it on, you know, modern devices. Um, I would thoroughly recommend you pick up this title. It is a couple of quid. It's going to cost you about £4 currently uh, on the uh, Google Play Store. But it's well worth it. It's worth every minute you're going to spend playing it. The dynamic of the game being, you know, these short three minute to ten minute stints, it lends itself really well to mobile play. Um, better than, you know, most other games that I've seen that have been converted across, which are more like, oh, well, here's the whole console experience. I hope you've got six hours to play it. Um, with Crazy Taxi, it's very much got that pick up and play, instant win kind of thing going on. So do go and grab it this weekend. You are not going to be disappointed. One of the best games ever made is back.